Welcome to Milwaukee Studios. In this video, I'm actually gonna be talking about open source software versus closed source and just some general information. So with that said, let's get right into it. So what exactly is open source software? Basically, open source software is just a program that is actually has its source code publicly available and you're able to actually modify and change it. There are different rules with that and there are specific licenses under like open source software that are exceptions to the rule, but generally that is what it is. What is source code? When I was talking about the definition for open source and how open source software basically allows you to be able to modify the program, how do you modify it? You use source code, which is basically the origin of all the code. Basically, that is where the entire program is compiled together. So what is the actual major difference between open source, closed source slash priority software. The major difference is the fact that open source software, anyone basically has access to the source code. Meanwhile, if you look at people like Adobe and Filmora and stuff like that, their programs are closed source wherever they control everything. Only specific people in their organization can modify the code and legally you are not supposed to modify it. But both of these, you're actually agreeing to terms and conditions basically. So like some open source software, whenever you create a modification, you have to state that it is a modification and that it came from this specific place or the original program and different things like that. And even closed source software, they do have terms and conditions that most people don't read through, but that is a major part of like open and closed source software. This is something that's kind of interesting, but basically when I was doing my research, I found this question that actually states the fact that is open source software only important to computer programmers? Basically it says open source technology and thinking benefits both programmers and non-programmers. So there are a lot of people actually that prefer open source software compared to closed source software. Personally, I like closed source software. Why some people actually think open source software is a little bit better is because of the fact it has control, it's um, good training, it's security because of the fact that there's so many people looking at it. You also have stability. So a lot of times since there is so many people working on it, you're able to get it very, very stable. You also have a community aspect to it because of the fact that you have all these different people from different areas across the world coming together to work on that program or whatever. Here's an interesting question and I guess a lot of people do think this and it's a common misconception actually but basically open source software is open source software free? This is actually a common misconception and I definitely can see why but Based off of the research that I have done, actually open source software does not have to be free. It kind of comes with open source software in general that they kind of want it to be free and they kind of just make it free anyways. But in general, normally that is actually not technically exactly always true. So when you're looking at open source software or if you're looking for like a free video editing program, just because it says that it's open source does not mean that it is free. Here's another question actually to ask yourself, what is closed software? This is actually what most software is. So if you look at like the app store and stuff, most of the time those are actually closed source. There are some open source ones, but normally they're closed sourced. If you're just looking at different programs, like for instance, Adobe or Film Mora or for instance even like Vegas or um, Final Cut all of those are not open source they're actually closed source some examples actually of open source software includes Kaden Live all of 0.2 you also have Shotcut and there are a lot more I just haven't done my research into a lot of them. So with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more information on editing different programs and stuff, I have a playlist over here talking about all the absolute fundamentals of video editing, talking about blend modes, talking about all stuff like that. I have a playlist right here that I'm going to be working on. And we also have a video over here that YouTube recommends for you. And with that said, guys, remember, keep on editing.